Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Melinda and Tracy is in the background. Hello. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It seems fairly large, so it's I don't know. It'll probably be two videos so that I don't bore everybody to death. Um, so let's just get started. All right. <clears throat> Um, and it's, as always, it's just a hodgepodge. I don't know what all I have. It's all over the place. So I'm just going to go bag by bag. Um, we grabbed a couple packs of hangers for the grandson. These are the children's hangers. There's a six, it's a six pack. Um, they seem like pretty good hangers. They're, they're not too flimsy. So, and with tiny little clothes, you... I'd, I'd be okay with them being a little flimsy, but they seem pretty good. So, got a couple of those. <clears throat> we finally found some more of the guacamole style dip. This has been kind of hard to find the last few times we went to DT. All we've been, we keep seeing green cans, but the green can is French onion dip. Um, the other green can. This green can is the guacamole. So, found a couple of those, so I grabbed them. That way we have them when we run out. <clears throat> Somebody was raving about this. Who was it? Mimi Sparkles? I think it was. She got a bunch of the uh, different scent boosters and she said this one was really good. So this is um, by, who is this by? Greenbrier. Um, in wash fragrance booster. Fresh scent smells good smells like laundry so that is a 10.5 ounce container and these are the ones you just pour into the washing machine um, with the clothes pour a little for a touch of added freshness or up to two-thirds of a cup for freshness that lasts that just that lasts pour directly into the drum before adding laundry enjoy fabulously fresh laundry so we'll give that a shot. You can do what other people do and just leave it in the car as an air freshener. Yes, you could. Tracy said you can just leave it in the car as an air freshener if you really wanted to. Just leave that lid open. That would work. I think people might also use these in like little sachets mm -hmm. or something. Just fresheners so. around the house. So that's a good idea too. Um, grabbed this bath bomb because I couldn't remember if I had found it or not. This is the Onyx Bathhouse wine time it's red wine and charcoal so got one of those and then i found these in the crafter square i thought they were pretty neat i don't know that i'm going to use them as is but i'm going to take them apart and be, and use them they are just like the balsic wood the but that cute little star and then the the two different stars, I like that a lot. So I can take off this jute and then I can have these individual stars and do something really cute with it. So I got three of those. To go in your craft room. That is to go in my better. craft room that's almost done. It's, yay, it's almost done. So once, um, it is going to be used as a guest it's it's the craft room guest room and it's going to be occupied as a guest room here for a little bit so once um we have no more guests then i will start using my craft room but you've actually got the drawers and tables i know i finally found some machine. drawers a table i brought my grandma's sewing machine up there last night um ethan stopped by and he packed it upstairs for me so that was really exciting <clears throat> so yeah things are happening so while we might do go back to filming in there that way you guys can see the craft room all right still trying to kind of like find a, a forever home for things right now things are just some of the stuff is just it's not as organized stored as it's not like permanently it. organized but it's in there so we got some more snow the little foam beads now the store actually had I don't, these must be from last year it's it's christmas packaging for crafter square and there's two different sizes 
so there's these tiny little guys and then these guys can you see the difference so regular square, this one has there. they're all crafter square this one has the christmas logo on it too and oh, they say faux snow well, i thought all of those were christmas yeah no the these <laughs> ones are all say faux snow so what i thought was my bright idea of using this as fake snow apparently that's what they market it as in christmas time oh well i still think i'm and a genius Yes, we have a bajillion clear ornaments from the Michael's grab bags after Christmas. That was before we were doing YouTube. Before you had your cricket. And, and before I had my cricket. And I didn't know what on God's green earth I was going to do with... I think we had 150 some ornaments. Everybody's getting ornaments for Christmas. Everyone's getting ornaments for Christmas. So they make a great gift topic. <laughs> um, we got this... Fall pennant sign, gather and football. Tracy wants to try and DIY this. By Tracy wanting to DIY it, I think she means she wants me yes. to exactly what I mean. bring her idea to fruition, which would be to um, take off the leaves and the sunflowers, cover this banner, and put packers. Right? Yeah, turn it into some kind of Packer banner. She wants it to be a pa Green Bay Packers banner. Maybe with the years they won the Super Bowl or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yes, it's not the Green Bay color, but it's as close as you can get from the DT. Um, so we'll give it a shot. I think because this is like printed on there, screen printed, painted, whatever. So I could, I could peel this off maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Or I could just paint it. I could paint over this. Put the Green Bay G on the football yeah. Or yeah. So I don't know. We'll see what happens mm -hmm. with it. Um and then I got some of the wall stickers. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I just really liked these. So there's this one and it's double sided. I just thought those were really pretty. I think it's the same on both sides. Yeah. You use them for scrapbooking, friend mail. Uh huh. Scrapbooking, friend mail, DIYs, whatever. And then these butterflies and dragonflies. Got it for the dragonflies. <clears throat> so, really pretty. Liked those a lot. Um, looks like this was my crafty bag. I found. I thought there was one more box of those in here. This must be somewhere else. I found the Floral Garden Silver Wire LED lights. I have some of these in the copper wire, but I found the silver. So there is 12 lights on here. It's 4.3 feet. And it just takes two AA batteries. So these are really good to have in the stash for DIYs. Got a couple more of the color changing LED light or, uh, tea lights. Those are just good to have in the stash. I got a couple of more pumpkins. This one is this one's a little redder than this one, and this one also has some like gold veining in it. If you can see the little shimmers, and this one just has more has speckles. So, a couple more to throw in the wheelbarrow. Oh, I got this one too. It's like a brownish, it's like a rust color. Yeah. It's like black rust. styrofoam with orange glitter on top or something. So, I got that guy too. Is he smaller? Yeah, he's a little smaller, a little flatter. Um, got a couple more of the Dollar Tree succulents to use in those animal planters the sloth and the raccoon um dinosaur and the s warnall narwhal. narwhal not warnall why do i say that <laughs> narwhal hi buddy hope you find your dad <laughs> anytime I, that's what i think of when i think of narwhals is buddy from elf 
um, got another one of these dispenser pumps. Can you read that? Kind of. Uh, this putting rubbing alcohol in here to use for crafting. Cleaning surfaces for the Cricut. And then I found ribbon that I decided I just needed to get one of everything. So look at these ribbon. Now I think I do have some of them already, but I couldn't remember so why not just buy more? So we've got this really pretty sunflower. I It almost looks like the background is navy, like a dark navy. I think it is. I don't think it's black. No. It's a really deep navy. And then this one, it's black. These are fabric ribbons. These aren't like the silky stuff. And it says cluck farm fresh organic oink country family moo homegrown market and then it's got a rooster a pig a cow and a barn really cute and then the black buffalo check the black polka dots and these are all nine feet of ribbon. The lemons. And of course, the infamous little red truck with nothing in the bed. So this does not, this isn't seasonal. You can use this for anything. They have the a little red truck with the pumpkins in the back. Um, but this one you could use any time of year. So yeah, like I said. I found that I already have some of them, but that is okay with me. All right, that is it for that bag. Let's move along. I got, I found these placemats and they had four. Um, I didn't see any more, but I just really liked this pattern. So I got four of these placemats. Not that we usually eat at the dinner table, but we'll have these for when we want to or if we have company or whatever. So, got four of those. I could even use these for crafting. I can do something with them. Um, I found, Tracy, the 2021 Hot Wheels calendar. I'm so excited. She's very excited for the Hot Wheels calendar. And there's the, the months. And then, another bath bomb, Be Happy. It's got lavender. It's That's the scent is lavender. And then it's got actual lavender in the top. Turned out I had both of those already. That's all right. Grabbed this for a friend, family member. Um, pink flamingo tape dispenser. They She loves flamingos. So that'll be a fun little, just a little fun little thing to add into a gift for her. I found these, they are, they're glass. Um, and they are green briar, but the little mason jar drinks or cups. Got the twist on lid with a straw that has a stopper in it. They also had red. Um, honestly, they, the this one had the green lid and the green straw with the green cup. This one had like a different color lid and a different colored straw, so I rematched them so that I could have an all blue and an all green. But those and are really cute. Blanks, so you can use your and you can use them as blanks, and I could cricket these up. So that'll be cool. All right. Say something inappropriate. Something inappropriate. Like this is probably not vodka. Lemonade. Probably not lemonade. <laughs> I, ha I made a friend of mine a wine tumbler that said there's a good ch chance that this is whiskey. Because <laughs> she's not a big wine drinker, but she's a whiskey drinker. And I just liked, it was a, it was an NFL wine tumbler. So I used it because I knew she'd like it. Um, 
Got some more of the Hers Hint of Lime Tortilla Chips. These are delicious. These are delicious. Uh, they pair very well with that guacamole style dip. This is a five ounce bag. Got some more tortillas. Now, I am going to tell you, with the flour tortillas, you might want to... We had one package, the last package we had, where they were stuck together and we couldn't get them to separate without kind of them peeling. Um, and when we tried to fold them into a burrito or taco, they kind of just broke. So when we got more, I made sure to look and see if they looked like they were pressed and see these, you can see them separating. So I think these are gonna be a lot better. Um, so just, that's what I've decided is we'll, we'll check to see if how flexible they are and how stuck together they are. Well, apparently you're supposed to refrigerate them oh, after yeah. you open them. These are, these are refrigerate that. after opening, so too. That could have been part of the problem. I didn't do that. Um, are all tortillas that way? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. I've never put them in the Are you supposed to refrigerate all tortillas after opening? Um, these are good until October 18th. So those are good for a while. And then we got some corn tortillas. These are good until September 28th. And these are pretty tasty. These are very tasty, yes. And they are, there's 24 of them in here. There's 12 of the flour. Um, they had more of the discounted butterscotch uh, lifesavers. I'm sorry, butter rum. Yeah, butter rum. Right. So sorry. 50 cents because the best buy date was today, August 20th. Are oh, lifesavers really going to go bad? I don't think so. They're individually wrapped too, so. They can get kind of. Gross. Yeah, but not go, if they go too long. If they go too long, they can, can get a little. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Um, Tracy also grabbed these limited edition Werther's original. They're harvest caramels, caramel apple flavor. So they're the soft caramels, and they're the caramel apple flavor. I think they also had a pumpkin spice one. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin spice. I reckon. Tracy decided she's not ready for pumpkin spice anything until at least. Plus, I don't want pumpkin spice everything. Right. There's certain things that just shouldn't be. <laughs> um, grabbed one of these zero sugar peace teas in the razzleberry. Now, um, That's really good. this is very good. And Melissa from M&M Halls, she was saying that if you see this, please don't buy it when you're in Texas because she can never find it. And we thought of her because they had case upon case of this. And we were like, if it wouldn't be so expensive to ship that, we'd get her some. Um, so this one's for you, Melissa. We found some new candy. New to us, anyways. We hadn't seen it before. This is Reed's Individually Wrapped Candies in Root Beer and in Cinnamon. Those just look retro packaging, don't they? It looks old school. I'm hoping it's like the old school like root beer. Candy. Yeah, and this is manufactured in the USA for Iconic Candy LLC, Great Neck, New York. So, Iconic Candy Company. So, made as it was in 1893. So, natural and artificial flavors and natural color so those those will be good fun to to try these are all tracy i'm not a big root beer fan unless it's with ice cream um i like the cinnamon though tracy does too but and then we found let's see a new kingsford uh seasoning this is cajun style all-purpose seasoning spicy louisiana classic so make our own Cajun fries. Make some Cajun fries. Um, if you're from yeah. Oregon, you are familiar, most likely familiar with um, McMinimans, and they have the best Cajun tots. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Um, we could try and make our own. So that's what that's for. And then. We also grabbed a few because we're going to be doing the blessing bags 
I know. I keep telling you guys that. It's, just, time it's been very busy. Honestly, we'll probably do it next week. We've got family stuff going on right now. We're going to have someone staying with us. Um, we've got a baby shower this weekend. So there's just a lot of stuff going on. But we, we are going to do it. Promise. Um, but since we hadn't yet, we grabbed, we found the bonus packs, three packs of hand sanitizer. So they had the lemon scent, the, with aloe. So we got three, three packs. So we've got nine of these so we can put a hand sanitizer in each of the bags also. Um, I think I'm going to call it for now. The rest of it will be in the next video. What about the frame? Oh. We got a couple frames from the Dollar Tree, too. But we already used them. We've used them already. Look at that. Let me see if I can show you without all the glare. Look at that. That's our grand dog, Carter. Mom and Dad are getting me a human. 10 6 20, 20. So, that was adorable. Had to put it up. Um, that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us. We love it and appreciate it when you do. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please click on the subscribe button. We would love to have you. And when you do that, you can click on the bell. That can send you notifications anytime we upload a new video. So thank you guys so much. We love you, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.